Uh, let's do this. Oh, look at those guys deliver my stuff. So that's locked. So I'm pretty sure I know what we need to do here. Get that nice and sorted out. I can bring my vehicle. Something tells me we want to get in a fight. I'm not driving across it. Definitely not walking across it. Right on. I mean, I definitely could try. Just out of curiosity. I mean, eh, we'll try, but something tells me I'll go out there in combat land. Yeah. Let's go find someone. Please work. Okay, I'm right in my thinking so far. There's multiple whales here. doing that. So steady. the tar belt. Sort of. I'm crossing the tar belt. I should say that. This is really starting to feel like Mario. The little, like, fish. Loving the music.
where we go. I'm definitely gonna need a shower. Covered in so much gook, gunk. Almost there. land on her. I found you. Thought hello. Of course. Why wouldn't I? It's not any kind of ocean. It's like a nasty, gross ocean. And I'm naked. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> For sure, if it wasn't for you and your wonderful network. <laughs> Bless your heart. And thank you kindly. either. There's your boss man, and that woman, and, oh, let's not forget little you. Okay, it's okay. I know it ain't easy wearing a mask. 
mask all the time. Now the mask can come off, right? Hey, hey, hey. You remember this? Hmm? Nope, nope, nope. Mmm. Poor sweet Amelie. She's holed up in the beach nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. But I wonder... ...when you look death... It's a very convoluted story. <laughs> Actually, I need to get these thermal pads off me. That's the thing that always gets <laughs> back to me is like I'm always impressed that he came up with this whole idea. Like, I mean, some games like, I don't know, I want to say like Call of Duty or Medal of Honor, stuff like that. Easy. It's war. You can kind of base it on stuff. But this, this is just messed up. What's the hold up, Sam? Connect your Cupid to the terminal and bring the site online. What is this guy? First it's, take your time, do it right, and then calls me back, what's the hold up, man? Hurry up. <laughs> Make up your mind. Remote detonation grenade launcher. Good work, Sam. You've made it as far as Bridges One ever did. We never pushed further west. Frankly, it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. Anyway, you're almost at Edgenock City. Your final destination, where Emily should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more knot to go. One last time to put that Cupid to use. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge Knot online, you'll likely be revealing Emily's location to Higgs. 
You'll need to get to her before he does. Head to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. Your work is greatly Guess it's time to take a shower. Sam, are you there? Emily. Can you hear me? Sam. Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. <laughs> he lied. America is a lie. I'm, I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edgenoth City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the distro center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. <gasps> Sam. You'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie? Did I come all this way just to shoot her? Be like, oh, thanks for showing up. Now cap me one. Make sure I don't end it all. Let's get through this. We don't need to watch me use a toilet and everything, but hey. That'd be very thoughtful of us to say. Be like, hey, you okay? I didn't need to come all the way across America, connecting them all up to this internet and everything, just to shoot you. I hit the wrong button. Just drinking my monster energy drink and somehow not having. We gotta look good. Oh, navy blue is good. Oh, 
That looks a little better. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, in all fairness, our, our main dude doesn't mind being alone. So, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like a vacation. Are you going to tell me to grab a delivery? Me, yes. Check the terminal and pick up that order before you leave. Just in you case I forgot. Yep, got it, game. Take the delivery. The delivery in the terminal. Get the delivery. Actually, wait. I do want to cancel. Is there a briefing? There's a briefing. <laughs> Listen to that. City should be the last time you have to mess around with the Cupid. But to finish the job once and for all, you'll need to supply a network activation key. You'll receive it upon officially undertaking the order. This is the last link in the chain, Sam. Get it done, and we're home free. Godspeed. Are we home free, or is it I put the key in and then everything hits the fan? Because I feel like it's that one. This is it, Sam. Edge Nut City, the last piece of the puzzle. You'll need more than just a Cupid to link this one up, though. You'll also be required to supply a network activation key. Anticipating terrorist interference, we held on to it for safekeeping. It's been sitting in that distro center gathering dust. Until now, collect it at the terminal and take it to Edge Nut City. Luckily for us, the automated systems at the distro center there still seem to be operational. So once the key is entered, it should automatically interface with the backbone network. A word of caution, Sam. The activation key has a unique identifier. If anything happens to it, you can't just print a new one. It's one of a kind. Irreplaceable. And for the love of all that's holy, don't lose it. And don't go breaking it either. You hear me, Sam? If ever there was a delivery not to fuck up, it's this one. We're all counting on you. Remote detonation grenade launcher. Launches explosive projectiles, as you may have guessed. Can be used in conjunction with a variety of rounds depending on your needs. And yes, said rounds are indeed detonated remotely and at your discretion after firing. Yep, I guess I'll make myself one. Ah, screw it, let's make two. Like, I can't tell if this guy's become more cautious or what, but he's now reminding me that the key is unique, in case I didn't know. Traveling all across, like, America. And that I need to be careful. Because I can't remake it. It's like I haven't accomplished this journey. I just feel like... Maybe people just get paranoid at the end. I don't know, but it's a lot of reminders. Get ready for this to just get awful. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those times. Here comes the rain. It's full of DTs. Awesome. Awesome.
slow and steady. Even better. Great. Okay, it's not so bad. freaking out about. Not sure. Still freaking out about something. Nope, we're good. Luckily, they're like one shot kills, so this is fine. there. Oh no. That was very unfortunate. Literally have one job. Thank the jump. Very true. How's it going, Arrow? Doo -doo. What are you freaking out about? See, the thing is, I was brilliant and brought tons of guns, but I didn't bring a ladder. Or rope or anything that would be useful. I'm sorry to hear you are tired. There we go. What is below us? I 
there. It's not important, I hope. Probably. Are you... Okay, you are using this good. Uh, okay, this is just gonna be annoying now. Go. Stop that. That ledge is like... Really annoying. Freaking out about. Oh, literally right there. Well, at least I didn't touch it. That's the important part here. Good grip. I know. Definitely when you guys are watching this, you're like, hmm, I'm gonna ask this guy to bring me a pizza. For the most part, I can get it there in under 60 minutes, depending on wherever you are. I mean, that's gotta be pretty good, right? An hour to get your pizza there? I found that with my body. I finally cut an umbilical cord. Yay! It's a baby boy. Look at that. 
Mostly unscathed. Packages, eh. But if it helps, most of my packages are guns. So really, they're only for me. Uh, most of the problems from the rain, not necessarily my uh, bad transportation skills. Please don't do that. Definitely not. Oh, my network activation key was damaged. Cute. Please don't do this to me. I need you happy and functioning. Oh good, we're done. And there he goes. We made it. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. No sweat. Wasn't even worried. Because I have my cool shade zone. Hello, Metal Jags. How's it going, sir? <laughs> I 
How was your stream today, sir? Nice. You're famous. Quadruple rocket launcher. Now this is something I can get behind. God bless America. We've done it, Sam. The Cairo network now spans the entire continent. Our nation is whole again. Reborn as the United Cities of America. If terrorists or whoever else strike at us now, even if they succeed in destroying a knot, the network will endure. Everything passes through the beach now, and the beach will keep us together. But we can't rest yet. You still have one more job to do, Sam. A new nation needs a new leader. And only one woman has what it takes to succeed Bridget Strand. A woman destined from birth to inherit this legacy. Me. Emily. Oops. She's out there. And she needs your help. Bring her home, Sam. And keep an eye out for Higgs. He could be zeroing in on her as we speak. Now that Edgenot City's linked up, she should be getting ready to head to your private room. So check yourself in and sit tight. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, cutscene. I'm not naked this time. Sam. You came for me. I knew you would. I did not come for you, buddy. Don't worry. Sam, it's me. density increasing rapidly. Contact imminent. Combat preparations strongly advised. Repeat, contact with unidentified entity imminent. Well, better take a shower. Make sure we're nice and uh, clean. Go ahead and use the toilet. That's how I would prepare. Make sure I'm nice and clean and drop a deuce. I'll be combat ready. Can you say boss fights coming up? I look forward to the bugging, just for the record. <clears throat> oh wait, I put my hat glasses back on. Oh no, I exited. Ah oh, well, that's fine. At least I got my hat. That's all that matters.
I know there's no vehicles. I'm gonna fabricate. Should be okay. Get rid of the destroyed stuff. Thank you for your contribution. Now we'll go find the source of that noise. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, grenade. How ridiculous. Oh, that's amazing. Use of weapons is prohibited. I know I'm not allowed to use weapons right now. I didn't make enough rocket launchers. Fuck. Give me everything I needed, Sam. A complete chiral network. Spread all across America. Connecting all them precious little nuts. I got the whole world in the palm of my hands. Mass extinctions, each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Now, I'm not talking about the death of a few dozen species, no. This? This is the granddaddy of them all. E.T. antimatter avoiding out all life as we know it. And it wouldn't be possible not a boy scout like you willing to make us whole again. <laughs> what do you say? Come on. Time to meet your ender. Homily? Sam. Beaches into a single shore. And then will come an extinction like no other. More massive than any before it. The last. This is my purpose. What the hell they do to you? The last stranding, my reason for being, the first, was nothing more than a prelude. Surely you figured it out. Visions of an inescapable future. Sound familiar? Happy fucking doomsday, Sam! Fuck you! Sam. T 
Don't you get it? You can speed this up or slow it down, but you cannot stop what we've started. <laughs> Even if you beat me, you can't save her. It's all this. This is a done deal. Oh, I missed. I... I brought guns. <laughs> I... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Should've just made like 30 rocket launchers. Time to reset. Course, a small target. Let the game resume. Come on, come on. My guns did they drop? Oh my gosh. Blood bag, blood bag, handgun. Oh, there's a rocket launcher over there. Goodness. Assault rifle, there's a rocket launcher. I'll take it. Grab it. Nope, you hate me. Not when I miss like that, but you know, eh. We're over halfway. Or miss twice. That works too. Fine by me.
ammo for my sake. That's what's her face. Probably shouldn't shoot that. Nope. I kind of don't. Come on, Sam. Good job. Shotgun, that is definitely not what I want, I'll tell you. Right, good old close and personal kind of love it. I'm something, but definitely not the best. There he is.
That wasn't too bad. Seven minutes. S rank. I'm a late. I'm a late. She's fine. Is she? Extinction's on hold for now. Let her go! All that for repatriate. What a waste. Pick this up when you're done dying. Heads! I'll see you on the beach for the grand finale. Strengthens my connection. Doo -doo. <laughs> my stuff. I don't think I saw anybody else's. See me. Oh, I do see other people. rocket launcher and then I'll Okay now I'll go touch myself. You're welcome to stop a man. Let's drop all the used stuff. Could recycle it, but meh. gonna go make a jump. I'm assuming that's what they want me to use. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Uh, 
first delivered lost cargo we found. Four of those. Three of those. Couple of those. Uh oh. I may have too many things. That's okay. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff here. Get rid of all the stuff I started using. Don't really need oxygen masks right now. Get rid of that one blood bag. Thank you for your continued support. Well, that's fine. I got some. So I'll find those rockets, probably, eventually at some point, and use them. Take a shower. Let's clean the gunk off us. So oh, good old. Drink some stamina up. Not want me to eat? Yeah. Jump. Higgs wants to connect the knots of your network with Amelie's beach. So it's pretty clear where they went. So how do we get there? I can't. But you and Emily have a strong connection. You've been to her beach plenty of times, right? Mm. You can make the jump. You gonna come through for me? I'll try to take him alive. Promise me, I'm the one who finishes him off. Good. Then I'll help you get where you need to go. I can send us both at once. But I'll be right behind you. I thought you said you couldn't go to her. I can. But I can go to you. By the ties that bind us together. The dream catcher will lead you to her. And then? The Misonga will lead me to you. Oh. For going in like that? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm not gonna take Lou either. Fragile. What? Do you have anything to eat? Oh. You hooked, huh? <laughs> Sam, be careful. Worst comes to worst. Take care of Lou, all right?
for this to work, I'll have to touch you. Oh. Close your eyes. Now picture Amelie in her beach. You love her, right? You love her. Here it is. She was betrayed by that guy. She used to be a delivery person. That's a really simple explanation. You're welcome. I'm supposed to do keep the extinction entity safe until the slate is wiped clean there's no stopping the sixth extinction no matter what you me or anybody else does humanity has a few hundred thousand years left tops why don't we just cut to the chase accept our fate let the creatures before us we all know what's coming why delay the inevitable? Those of us with dooms, her, we're all bound here for a reason. We are all of us a part of the death destroyer. In this place, this fucking beach. There's no repatriation here. Us dies. That's it. He goes to the other side. It's nice, huh? Lucky loser gets to put an end to this rinse and repeat bullshit once and for all. So, no BTs, no void outs, no bullshit. Just a good old fashioned boss fight. Stick versus rope. Gun versus strength. One more end before the end. One last game over. So he gets a gun. I am the particle of God. Oh, look, I can get destroyed house plants. Come on. There's fun to be had. Oh, that's got that's got that's a racking your brain to think of a better way. I cannot remember how to throw stuff. This is gonna be a problem. An ending, that's what. Fight like a man. Saw, be it today or tomorrow. 
To this land, these cities, these people, everyone, and everything. No use in hiding. You're boring me, Sam. That's what you get for reloading. I'm hiding behind a dead whale. Ugh. Don't reload the fast. Don't reload the fast. No. I'm so close to dead. Luckily, my health is slowly going up. That was an awkward miss. Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. Please don't shoot me. Uh, from me. Take this. lucky day. Grab that. There we go. I missed that reload, that's fine. Come on, Sam. Let's party. Shit. I'm telling you, man, if I had a gun. Wasn't beating the guy up with antique cameras. Oh, that was a good stab. Uh, 
Oh, Perry, there's the freaking prom. Oh, this is blind him. Whoops. That's fine. What we're gonna do is get some food. Please don't pull out a gun. Kick him in the nuts. Sam, this was only ever going to end one way. So come on! Ah, oh, here we go. It is definitely Street Fighter. <laughs> oh, <damn> it, <laughs> ah. a fight, man. No holding. That was a solid hit. Oh, don't slap me. me. Oh, nope, that was a little soon. Seriously? 
seriously? Ear biting? Take a good chunk of my ear now. Gets, I'm not gonna die. I'm the main character. Although my health is getting kind of low. Stick his head underwater till there's no more bubbles. You're getting a little touchy feely there, Mr. Often phobia. <laughs> well, congratulations. You won the game. Too bad you didn't stop. Well, get on with it. Fragile. Guess I left a lasting impression. I'm fragile. This time you're the one who's going to break. Is that right? I think you'll find our bond is made of stronger stuff. <laughs> Already broken. The fuck? I'm Higgs. I'm the particle of God that permeates all existence. What are you? Honey, you ain't nothing but damaged goods.
You are damaged goods. <laughs> fragile, but not that fragile. Hey, the particle of God. Order number 65. I brought you a metaphor. Take it with you. Tell the lifers with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. No. You keep it. It's better they hear it from the woman herself. Okay, gamer boy. How's it going? One more thing. Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. Doing pretty good. It's Lou. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Oh, cat fight. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. Better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. Wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Oof. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want, what I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Was this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future. That is the truth. Hmm. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lied? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. 
It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. <laughs> you're right. I never gave a shit about this country. I love I have it. No ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it? Do we jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? <sighs> yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. <laughs> Jeez. Not cringe, it's Mario. <laughs> okay, it's a little cringy. Look at that great waiting job I did. Like a puppy. President Bridget Strand. So you finally invited me to the beach. Remember this? It's the same gun. And now I'm using it to make things right. You were supposed to make the world whole. Not fuck it all up. Okay, then. Get on with it. no atonement not for us It's me, John. Remember, I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Give me back my BB. You're looking in the wrong place. Awesome. BB! So many questions. I'm not even sure if I can fully explain what the hell is going on. The hell? Whoa, Sam. It's me. It's... Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt, your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then... gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well, it would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone, and Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe, here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. Hmm. We'll explain everything, I promise. But first, you should rest. Alright? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. <laughs> And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? <sighs> 
Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part, fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow, if tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Amelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same, but neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course, but believe me when I say it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Prytrial transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. Mama, no, no Lagna. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through the beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie, straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin, the price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Amelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east, towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Hey, Don. How's it going? Gross. Perfect. Glad to hear it. Fair, fair. 
sleep is the most magical thing ever. You okay? I am doing good. I am genuinely confused, excited about this game because it's getting interesting. Like, I'm assuming stuff's about to happen and everything's going to fall in place. It's a, in those those mystery moments where you're like, I'm not a hundred percent. But it's in the everything's hitting the fan moment, which is kind of exciting. Boots. Uh. That's probably better. This is their vehicle. Oh, there is two. Let's do it. It's interesting if you do get around to play. Goodness. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Sam, it's Hartman. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Awesome. Just the sky doesn't look great, buddy. I love how unpredictable vehicles can get sometimes. I go left. Up we go. Don't fall, though. Yeah. 
Thank you, Rock. Down this. Look at how Gotta love rocks. I love driving in this game, it's so good. Now I'll slide down the hill. song. Look at that. It's like a musical now. No. Stop. No. vehicles so much. But I'd much rather struggle with this than walking. How are we doing? We're getting there. to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative. 
whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. All right, sir. Next level trust issue. Charge up again. Uh, yeah, I guess I want to start cutting to the right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Steady. That's a cliff, that's a cliff, that's a cliff. Come on. There we go. Just don't know if I can avoid this situation now. was fine <laughs> all things considered really all I need to do is get to the roads I built and then I can just Zip along. Obviously, just the mountains and rocks that suck with vehicles. Okay, what are we looking at now? <laughs> How bad is that? If I can push through, or Dude, if we can get to that weather station, it'll be fine. Just gotta get there. And it'll be roughly, roughly smooth sailing. Just not sure how doable this is. Can't say I've ever gone this way before. I've done lots of other stupid stuff, but. Little 
juice to get us up this hill. I love vehicles so much. Another shot. All right, Don, you have a fantastic evening and sleep. Thanks for stopping by. Watch me, uh, drive. No, please don't be stuck. I think I'm stuck. Very much so. Well, at least the vehicle won't be the issue anymore. Be looking. We're almost out. It's basically as soon as we're out of this, it's way easier outside these mountains. That's fine. We probably don't need those. That was close. I still got one rocket. Lady Havoc. 
Thanks for the subscription. Well, I can send thanks. Hello, Angelo. How's it going? Just in time to watch me break my ankle. Or back, or legs, or everything in between. Was doing. Oh, my good. Almost the same thing again. This is fine. This is really fast. I don't have anything really to, uh, lose. Cause I already lost everything, so it's just, a. Uh... There you go, look at that. Traveling in style. Oh wow, I can actually hurt myself doing that. Hmm. Sorry, Lou. Gave me the option to double jump like Mario when I took it. It's okay, Lou. We, we gotta get back there. Are there vehicles nearby. Let's take a vehicle. Fine, Lou. Just don't panic, buddy. He's fine. He just doesn't know he's fine. Okay, I don't want to do this. So I can basically just keep going straight here. Or that. Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand, supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just the cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I could say is, baby, I haven't actually played Metal Gear, so. No. 
cows. Oh, thank goodness, a bike. Yoink! Okay, that's too... too deep for bikes. Wow, I think I had that, like, what, two seconds? Thank goodness they put a bike on the other side of the water. Whoops. How was I supposed to know how deep that was? I mean, it could have scanned, but... Ugh. Oh. game. Fun fact, I was pressing reverse. Not that it matters when you get vehicles in this game. It's like, oh, is that water? Bloop. Try standing still because I made it through. But the whole Carol Network thing is basically like giving internet to everyone. That's really oversimplifying it. But unless you go through this game, it is complex. fine if everybody didn't start using it at once and causing overlapping issues of everybody trying to look up the same stuff. Once again, really oversimplified. We use the rope to get down. See, I'm just in that crazy belief that everybody should have nice, cheap doesn't have to be the fastest internet, but just everybody should have some internet. Where's this road? How are we looking? So just beyond this charger. As my rockets are totally getting just wrecked here. People don't use the internet for social media. Are you kidding me? No. Shoot, there's more than one. Oh, great. Please get away from me. This will work. This will work. Let's 
Stop it. Bad kitty. There we go. Well, sets of uh, roads here. Question, was there any vehicles besides that one that was kind of stuck back there? Oh, Alright, we're going to take a quick, quick little detour, get a vehicle just so I can rip down this road. Make it to where I need to go, probably watch a little cutscene, and that's where we're going to have to be wrapping it up for today, unfortunately. Thanks, Lady Havoc. I will be there. Don't you worry. I just gotta make a small trip here. And now that I have a vehicle, it's gonna be like super duper fast. And roads. I cannot stress this enough. Roads and vehicles makes everything easier. Look at all the bridges everywhere. Do, 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 do. It's telling me that it'll degrade cargo quickly. I don't have anything except for my boots. And that's fine. And the vehicle. I'm really not carrying anything. Are you having fun there? I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. Ooh. This is pure speculation. But I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody, and after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges, towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Maybe it's their child?
We are almost at Lake Knot. It's probably right under that storm cloud there. There. Let's see it right. It is definitely right into that storm cloud. Awesome. Oh. What, buddy? Got a moment, Sam? It's about the direct. I guess I do. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked. And I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything. But there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies beach, to exploit its power over every other beach and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions, which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, He'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed. Gotta love these storms.
something. I need you to hand it over. Shoot him, John. Shoot him! I gave you an order. Shoot him! Hmm. So John killed me. Time to die, Hardman. Well, looks like we got another fun time ahead of us. Oh, I can't save because there's a thread nearby. Hmm, interesting. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this. But what I'm actually... What I'm actually gonna do, guys, I'm gonna end stream. I'm gonna go grab some food and whatnot. And then I will come back because I'm going to, I guess, just finish this up since I'm so close to the end and I can't really save or ditch it anyways. But I've got food that's warm. So I will say goodbye and I will return and I will finish this game. So I say goodbye for now and I will return shortly here.